Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Terry. So today I'm going to be showing you the polishes that were sent to me for Polish Pickup December. And I think the theme is Everything is Fine. I should have looked up the name of the theme before I started filming this video. But I will put it in the title of this video. Before we get started, be sure to subscribe to this channel if you have not already. So let's get into the video. So I'm going to start off with KB Shimmer's Sugar Scrub. It's called Cozy at Home. And Christy from KB Shimmer says this is probably her favorite scent of 2020. And it is definitely my favorite scent of 2020. This smells so good. So if you have not tried a Sugar Scrub from KB Shimmer, this is the one to get. It's also really, really pretty with this pink and vanilla type swirl. So gorgeous. But anyways, at first the scent is sweet and I get a hint of vanilla, but then deeper notes of tonka beans start to come through. Rich and complex, subtle, subtle floral notes from vanilla and jasmine add depth, while a very subtle hint of patchouli anchors this exotic blend. Perfect for dry winter skin. Let cozy at home transform your bath into a private cozy sanctuary. So that will be available for only $10. And also for $10, you can pick up KB Shimmer's Cats and Pajamas Polish. And Cats and Pajamas is a nod to flannel pajamas and the animals that keep us company while at home. A blue leaning gray curly base is flecked with glowing hollow flakes. Color shifting flakes shift between fuchsia pink and orange. It's kind of still sheer on that first coat, but you can see the flakies are glowing already just off of that one coat, the pink slash purple flakies. And this base is just like a, it kind of looks like a bluish gray base, but it's so beautiful, builds up perfectly in only two coats. Y'all know KB Shimmer does flakies like no other and it's just so easy to apply with this perfect round brush so really really cool color um i highly recommend this polish so the flakies in this polish lay flat and they're really easy to remove no scrubbing required for this one so next is margaritas to go and this is by cupcake polish so this is described as a lime green nail polish packed with a strong red shimmer. This polish is pretty sheer. It's like a jelly formula with this really strong, to me it looks more pink than red, but I can see it can go either way. <laughs> I'm just going to say it's pink because I love green and pink together. But I had to apply three coats of this one because it's pretty sheer. However, it wasn't completely opaque after three coats. But um, if you picked up Cupcake Polishes, I think it's called WNL, their base coat that kind of covers your nail line, you might be able to get this one completely opaque in three coats or maybe even two coats. I don't know. I haven't tried those base coats, but... If you have one, this will be a good polish to use it under, unless you don't mind having your nail line show through a little bit. But this one's really, really pretty. I love the green. I love the shimmer. And it's also very easy to remove. So next up is Year of the Nurse by MLF Lacquer. Year of the Nurse is inspired by nurses everywhere and specifically a painting of a caregiver by Jeanette Marie, which is a local artist. The polish is a charcoal mauve base with iridescent flakies that shift from aqua purple, green, red, and orange, and red to orange to green aurora shimmer. There is a cap on this one of 190 US and 10 UK. It is $11.00. And I just want to give a shout out to all of the nurses and doctors and anyone who is in the medical field. 
So this polish is dedicated to y'all and, and the owner of MLF Lacquer is also a nurse as well. This applied very smoothly. It was a bit sheer after the first two coats, so I did have to apply three coats. Um, after the third coat, that purple base kind of gets a little bit dark. So it covers the flakes a little bit. They're not as prominent, I think, because of the darker base. But it's still a really, really pretty color. Very easy to apply. No running or pooling. And because it's flakies, it is very easy to remove. Next is in an isolation ship. This is a honey caramel hollow with a strong orange pink shimmer that glows in the dark. This is going to be $14 with no cap. And you already know I love holographic polishes. So this one is one of my favorites. It has a great formula. It was completely opaque for me and only two coats. This polish is a little bit thicker than most polishes in my opinion. But the formula was still really easy to work with. Um, applied very smoothly. This has a really pretty turquoise mint green type glow in the dark. It has a very very strong glow. So Glisten and Glow's IPU item is going to be their glitter grabber this month. So I was excited to try this and I know you're technically supposed to just put one coat of this over a chunky glitter or anything that requires a lot of top coat and this helps you use less top coat so i applied it over celebrate good shine which is by kb shimmer because i actually don't have any glisten and glow glitter polishes i know crazy right i think it did help um because you know these chunky glitters tend to eat up so much top coat so you're supposed to apply one coat the glitter grabber and then apply glisten and glow top coat which I don't have right now I had it in the past but I am completely out so I just used my Sesh V top coat over it and I think it did smooth out the glitter really really well so glisten and glow also has a polish called concerts from the couch which is a very dark gray base with a contrasting color shifting shimmer that shifts from purple, pink, red, green, and gold. So this polish will be $12.50 with no cap. This polish applied very smooth. I was able to get it completely opaque in only two coats. There was a little bit of running for me. You can see like I kind of flooded my cuticles a little bit, which was kind of my fault, but it is a little bit of a runnier formula in my opinion, which I kind of prefer to thicker formulas. But I was able to get this completely opaque in only two coats. And you can see that shimmer really, really stands out in this polish against that kind of really dark gray base. It has a lot of depth to it. And I really enjoyed this polish. So this next nail polish company is kind of new to me um it's called damn nail polish and it's this very oh first of all the name is called content mint and it's this really pretty sheer mint color with this pink purple shimmer inside it had a really great formula it was very sheer on the first coat but it's supposed to be sheer, so you're not going to be able to get this one completely opaque. You will see some nail line through, but I think the nail line is covered, I don't know, maybe 85%. So, again, if you wanted to use, like, one of those base coats that kind of cover your nail line, um, this would be a good polish to use that with if you don't like kind of seeing your nail line through polishes. Which I'm not a huge fan of it, but I actually didn't mind it too much in this polish because as long as you can't see like my yellow nails through the polish then I'm okay with it but really really pretty color I really like the shimmer in this one I really like 
polishes with shimmer in it. I think it kind of adds an extra touch to polishes. This polish will be $12.50. It has a cap of $140 for the US and $10 for the UK. A Colorful Journey by Red Eye Lacquer was inspired by a book of a color of his own of finding yourself. It is a neon red slash pink jelly with a rainbow of color shifting flakies that range from red, orange, gold, green, blue, purple, magenta, pink, and silver. I think this polish is coming up pretty accurate on camera. It might be slightly off. This one is a very, very bright, bright pink. And I don't think my photos are very color accurate. It was really hard to capture the neonness of this jelly polish, but it has a really great formula. You can see there's no running or pooling or anything. It, re it really stays right where you put it. You also want to apply a really good glossy top coat on this polish because it does dry down kind of satin-like. But the flakies apply really evenly. I think this would be a really, really great polish to wear in like the spring and summer months. It's really colorful, really exciting, really pretty, and it does lift your spirits. <laughs> Also from Red Eyed Lacquer, they're offering a one ounce De Balmer, which is called Cool, Calm, and Collected, inspired by a relaxing water slide sipping on a cocktail or mocktail, a custom blend of tropical aromas, blood oranges, sweet pineapples, mandarin oranges, a hint of cherry, a dash of effervescence, a hint of vanilla, coconut rum, honeydew melon, watermelon, grapefruit, and tangerine. So... I don't know if I said this for the polish will be $12.50 with a cap of 150 US and 15 UK and cool common collected will be $5.25 with a cap of $40 I'm sorry with a cap of 40 US and 5 UK and if you watch my I think it was October's PPU video you know how much I love Red Eyed Lacquer's The Bomber, so if you have a chance, please try to pick this up. It smells good. I don't know if it's my favorite scent, personally, but it does smell good. So if you like fruity type scents, this one is for you. But regardless of the scent, the product is amazing. So if you haven't tried their The Bomber, definitely pick this up. It's only $5.50 and it's going to last you literally for months because you only need a very small amount and this has completely replaced cuticle oil for me but that's it that's the end of my video thank you so much for watching as always let me know what you're planning to pick up from december's ppu in the description box if you haven't already be sure to like the video and subscribe to see more videos from me i love you guys and i will talk to you later bye